always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night, folks. Manifest your true intentions. Be impeccable with your word. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will manifest through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be manifested through what you say each and every day. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 38. NASDAQ is up 59. S&P is up 15 and a half. Gold contract down $11.60, trading at $18.58 an ounce. We got silver up, mm, down 30 cents, $24.86 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 61 cents, $78.97 a barrel notes and bonds. The 10 year up three ticks, trading 113. 17, the 30 year up 11 at 160.25 and King Dollar. King Dollar is down 283 ticks, trading out at 95.545. The Euro is out here at 113. The Yen is at 114.26 and the British Pound is at 134 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you're at highs, folks. This market wants to basically at least test the highs. I expect what you're going to see uh, coming up to Thanksgiving. It's going to goose this baby higher. That's how this thing seems to be setting up. We rejected 466 on the SPY today. You're at 469. The all-time high is 470.65. Bottom line, it's going to go after it. You get a nice Friday afternoon to go after it. You're coming into the holiday week. And what does happen in the holiday week, folks, is that so you got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday closed, Friday a half a day. They can get some real action going, man. That's the bottom line. The Qs, the Qs right now, I believe they just hit an all-time high as we're speaking. They're up 375 last, yeah, they, they did. So you're going to close at an all-time high. I don't think the Qs are going to back off here. We're at 400, 400.99 was the all-time high. That was generated on November 5th. You're over that level now. We had 43 million on the fifth you're going to do more than 43 million right now we're at uh, 32 million it'll do over that and we'll see uh, how it shakes out meaning how much further it actually wants to go higher gold gold contract pullback has light volume on the pullback that's a good setup for us if you're a bull inside the gold market which i am the uh you get gc why is that gc2 keep coming up okay so we get the gc Oh, hold it. What year is it? No. GC1 I need. It's 2000. Yeah, we're still in 2021. Damn. Okay, so so you're backing down with 174,000 contracts. We take a look at this number and what you're going to see out here. There she is. Okay, so you're going to see we made a high with uh, 220. You pushed higher with 353. Bottom line, you're backing down with 178. It's not the end of the world. This thing's still to me, wants 1925. That's the number. We're going to take a look at the silver contract out here. What do you have with the silver contract? Silver contract right now is down 29 cents. You're trading at 2487. You get 61,000 contracts traded. Let's see how this baby's setting up. Okay, so this is also, this is backing down into strength. And the strength that we're backing down into. Yeah, look at that, man. Holy cow. 132,000 contracts, and you're coming down at 61. That's what you'd like to see. And this is going to be all about right here, folks, okay? This is going to get intriguing to see how this shakes out. It's going to be all about this good old U.S. dollar. So, you know, when you just look at this, how it's set up, it's like, hey, man, you got a nice doji up there. Um, it looks to me like you're going to back down. The reason I'm saying that, I believe if we do the A to B equals C to D. See, what, what happens is that you don't have volume inside the currencies, folks, okay? Um, let me just do this, though, because I did this with the euro. The euro just finished an ABC structure on the way down, so I expect what you're going to see here is that the dollar just finished an ABC structure on the way up, point-wise. So 94,500, 91, that's four bucks, four points. That's 97,270. You had 96. So, it missed, so the, the dollar missed it by a penny. Whereas the euro, see, if we take a look at this euro here, what you're going to see at the euro, what you're going to have there is that the euro, this leg is really cool, man. The first leg, what, from a buck nineteen down to a buck 
15, so you got four cents. And then you take four cents off a buck 16, you got a, a buck 12, and we hit a buck 12, 64. So you did the A to B equals C to D. And you know, you, you got a nice candle setup. You came off the candle with volume, so guess what? We might have a bottom, we'll see. Oil, let's go take a look at the oil market out here. Uh, let me get the active contract. Where are you, baby? CL. Okay, so $78.94. Oops, no charts? Yeah, no, I'll refresh them for you right here. There we go. Okay, so oil. Oil rejected $77.08 today. Let's see what we have. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah. So you're at $78.25. Yeah, I mean, you got back inside the range. So what oil did is this. Oil, now this, this whole range, we were talking about this yesterday. This only came down to a 0.382 retracement, number one. So that means oil's still strong. Number two, uh, okay, so I... John's, okay, so I'll go to January, okay. 44,000, CL. F2. Yeah, it's still not, no, you got, okay, I understand what you're saying. What, what's happened here, folks, is this, is that you got a roll that's going on, but the CLF1, is still the most liquid contract. You, get, you can see the difference. You get, anyway, the bottom line is that oil wants higher price. It rejected a lower price, it wants higher price. It doesn't matter which one you actually bring up. But right now, you're still trading on the one. One has more contract value than two by 10%. Stay right there, folks, come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 44, NASDAQ is up 54, S&P is up 14 and a half. Come right back, folks.